Hello, Kate Marshall fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today, we're going to continue on talking about CAPE. CAPE is essentially three separate um, components, if you will. We have the executable itself, which is uh, either the command line or the GUI version. We saw the command line version. We'll talk about the GUI version uh, in a couple of episodes. Uh, so we have the, the executable, we have targets, and we have modules. Today we're going to talk about targets and what they are. So let's head on over to the computer and have a look at our targets. So we have, we can see in our CAPE repository, uh, a folder called targets. Inside this folder are targets that are grouped by their type. Now a target for CAPE is uh, a way to go and collect evidence. So a target file tells CAPE where to go to get a certain artifact. So let's look at a couple of examples of target files. So let's say that I want to go into my mounted forensic image or a drive and I want to pull out all of the files that speak to me about evidence of execution. Well, there happens to be a target file indicated by the extension tcape that's specific to evidence of execution. If we open it up to see what it's designed to do, we see a few things. We see a description of the target file. We see who wrote it, and then we get to see this ID. This ID needs to be unique, and this becomes important if you decide to create your own target or module files, which you absolutely can do. In this target file case, we're after the prefetch files, we're after the recent file cache files, amcache hive, and the sys cache. Now, we can see that it's supposed to go get these, but really, what does that mean? Because it doesn't tell it where to go. Well, what it's telling it to do is go find the prefetch target file, the recent file cache uh, target file, etc. So let's go find the prefetch target file. Because evidence of execution is really calling upon a number of target files to do something. So here's the prefetch. It says, go get the prefetch files. Where are they? This is where they are. Grab everything in that folder that has this extension and pull it out and put it somewhere that we can work on later. Another one that I want to show you is the fact that we can create these if we want. So for example, somebody decided they wanted to do iTunes backups. This was written by Tony Knudsen. So Tony says, I want iTunes backup folder, or maybe this iTunes backup folder, or maybe this one for iOS 13, and here's where they live. Go get me those backups and bring them somewhere. We'll see where the somewhere is when we get into uh, the executable of, the, uh, of CAPE. And so tomorrow we'll talk about modules. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.